Hey everybody, uh, we're hanging out here with Grandma and Grandpa having a great time at Brooksville Pow Wow. We got teepees, we got uh, lean twos, we got buffalo hides, deer hides, elk hides, there's all kind of stuff out here. Vendors and everything all around. Wish you guys were here having a good time with us. And Indians from all different tribes. Huh? That's right. There's, I would say in our dance troupe we got about maybe six different tribes, but there are other tribes that are represented here as well. Check us out on GoNativeNow.com. We thank you for this gathering of these people. We ask for you to let us present the truth. We ask for you to bless every single one of us with your love, your vision for all life. That everyone knows what our Sioux brother and sister say so well. We are all related. What do I hope? Amen. Good morning. My name is Ashka. I was born in Alaska in 1927. I'm an enrolled member of the Clinkett and Haida tribe of Alaska. My nation is Clinkett. My tribe is Tuckney Clinkett. My moiety is Raven. My clan is Seagull. I'm going to tell you uh, something about the legends before I begin. Uh, in the old days, the people of the Northwest, uh, and particularly Alaska, we believed that the world was inhabited by a race of super beings. And these super beings were something like the Greek gods. They could do many wonderful things. They could transform themselves from one thing to another. And we believed uh, that in the old days that the animals and the humans, uh, uh, even that came later on, uh, we believed that we could talk to each other. We believed that we were one big community. That all of the animals, humans, everything was equal, the same. Little John, and she's also a Cherokee out of North Carolina. Come on, let's hear it for her, everyone. Now, this style of dancing was originated by the Ojibwe, and uh, one of the stories behind this dance is well, in the way that it was used as a, being a medicine dance or a prayer dance. Inside of each one of the cones that adorn this regalia, uh, before they're placed on a dress, there would be prayers prayed into each one of them. There would be good thoughts put into each one. Now the knot that holds that cold intact also holds those prayers intact. Now these young ladies will be called upon to dance for those who are sick and through prayer, while dancing, the miracle of healing would take place. But keep in mind folks that the dance has nothing to do with healing. Also the dress has nothing to do with healing. Only our good Lord himself, our creator of all things, can perform those miracles. But it has to do with prayer and most of all in belief in your prayers. Because anyone can pray 
Anyone can make words. It's whether or not you believe wholeheartedly in those words that the miracles do take place. And of course, afterwards, you must give praise and glory where it belongs. Now, this is a very hard style of dancing in our competitions. Only well, because these dresses are quite heavy. Over 365 cones would adorn that regalia, representing the days of the year. Seven rows, traditionally, representing the seven directions. There would be also one added in, and that would be for leap year. But there's there's so much to it without getting too involved in that in that explanation there. Now today, uh, the cones that you see there are made out of the um, tobacco can lids. Okay, the snuff can lids. Anybody do the snuff? Yeah, that's what they are. Right here too, ladies and gentlemen. This is the moment you've been waiting for. This young man is gonna turn loose out here. On this side, if you'd like to introduce yourself. AJ Bear Cub, ladies and gentlemen. And then that's uh, North Dakota, boy. We have two different styles we're gonna show at one time. Like I said, we're a little bit limited. First of all, I'd like to talk about Harry Littlebird. Now, this is an old style of uh, war dancing nowadays known as a northern traditional. At one time, only the soldiers and warriors of the tribe were allowed to do this dance because of the feathered ornaments that were worn and also carried by that warrior. Uh, you had to earn the right to carry them. And going into battle, winning over the enemy, coming back on harm, being wounded and so on would earn you the right to carry those feathers. When we had our warriors dances, they would display those feathers very proudly as we would sing honor songs for them. And we would honor them, being our warriors, our protectors of our villages. Um, they would tell stories while dancing, using the items in their hands to help tell the story. The shield to ward off the blow from the enemy. A war club to strike a blow to the enemy. A fan is to tell direction. We don't speak while we're dancing, so if he sees the tracks of the enemy on the ground, he'll point in that direction, letting you know he sees those tracks on the ground. Maybe point up over your heads, off in a distance, letting you know that he sees the enemy off in a distance and that he is advancing on them. Uh, we would sing different songs that would give them the opportunity to mimic doing certain things. Uh, we have one known as a sneak up. That speaks for itself, allows the dancer to mimic sneaking up on his enemy. We have one known as a duck and dive, where the hard beat on that drum represents gunfire or cannon fire from the enemy. We had a split second to react. Of course, the bullets didn't fly as fast as they do today. So when we heard that loud sound, they would duck up underneath the bullets and then stand up once again to show the enemy that their bullets cannot hit them. We also have one known as a double beat, where they would mimic riding a horse in a battle, a way of honoring that horse in a good way. Uh, nowadays, uh, these uh, feathers that you see are still earned in the old way, uh, of course being warriors coming from across the ocean, coming here and earning the right to carry them and displaying them very proudly. Uh, the young boy that you see there, little Harry, well he's earning his feathers right now. You don't always have to be a warrior in that way, but there's a certain way you present yourself because of who you're representing, those warriors of our great nation. Thank you. 